Hi, sweet faces. Welcome to this week's homework, where we're taking a look at elapsed time or the amount of time that has passed. So for our first set, we are answering the questions below. First one says, what time is it? It is 1220. What time was it one hour and 30 minutes ago? Well, if we take away one hour, 1220 to 1120, take away another fifth or another 30 minutes. 1120 take away 20 is 11 o'clock take away 10 is 10 50 10 50 so it's 1220 one hour and 30 minutes ago was 10 50. what time is it it is 3 25. what time was it 55 minutes ago well if i take off 25 minutes it's three o'clock and that leaves me with 30 more minutes. If I take off another 30 minutes, it's 2.30. So it is 3.25, 55 minutes ago was 2.30. What time is it? It is 5.35. What time was it four hours ago? 1.35, just subtracting the hour on that one. What time is it? Still before the seven, 6.55. What time was two hours and five minutes ago? Well, two hours, 6.55, 5.55, 4.55. Take off another five minutes is 4.50. What time is it? It is 9.45. What time was one hour and 15 minutes ago? Well, one hour is 8.45. 15 minutes would be 8.30. Last one on this page, what time is it? It's nine o'clock. What time was three hours and 20 minutes ago? Well, nine minus three takes us to six. And if we wanna take off another 20 minutes, 10 minutes is 5.50. 10 minutes is 5.40. So it's nine o'clock and three hours and 20 minutes ago was 5.40 questions, bring them with you to class. All right, same premise. What time is it? And answer the question. It is 7.30. What time will it be in one hour and 10 minutes? So we're adding 7.30 plus one hour is 8.30 plus 10 minutes is 8.40. Over here, what time is it? It's 4.15. What time will it be in three hours? 7.15, four plus three is seven. What time is it? It is 1.40. What time will it be in two hours and 25 minutes? Well, 1.40 plus two hours is 3.40, 3.50, four o'clock, and then we need five more minutes, 4.05. What time is it? It's 10.05. What time will it be in one hour and 40 minutes? One hour is 11.05. Five plus 40 is 11.45. Coming down here. What time is it? It's 8.10. What time will it be in 35 minutes? 10 plus 35 gives us 8.45. Last one on this page. What time is it? It's 2.50. What time will it be in two hours and 45 minutes? Two hours will be 4.50. If I add 10 minutes, that's five o'clock. And then I would need 35 more minutes. 5.35. Questions on these? Bring them with you to class. All right, draw the correct time and answer each question below. So draw 831. So it needs to be over that way. 31. What time will it be in 25 minutes? 831 plus 25 minutes is gonna be 856. What time is it? It's 114. So we're gonna do one. 14. What time will it be in two hours? It'll be 314. 
Coming over here, it's 320. And what time will it be in one hour and 53 minutes? So 320 plus one hour is 420. And then 420 to five o'clock would be 40 minutes. And add another 13 minutes would be five, 13. Over here, what time is it? It's 2.02. What time will it be in an hour and a half? 2.02, one hour, 3.02, plus 30 minutes for the half an hour is 3.32. Coming down here, it's 7.38. So 7, 35, 38, there we go. It's 7, 38, what time will it be in three hours and 20 minutes? 7, 8, 9, 10, 38, add another 20 minutes, 38, 48, 58, 10, 58. Last one, it is 11, 43. So that's gonna be closer to the 12. And 41, 2, 3. There we go, 11, 43. What time will it be in 45 minutes? Well, 11, 45, or I'm sorry, 11, 43. Get the right starting point, Lazinski. So let's do 20 minutes would be 12.03, right? So 40 plus 20 would be 12.03. Another 20 minutes would be 12.23. And then five minutes would be 1228. Questions on this page? Go ahead and bring them with you to class. All right, this page, we're still drawing the correct time and answering the question, but we are looking at past time, so subtracting. All right, 840, it's going to be here and there, 840. What time was it 24 minutes ago? So if we're at 840 and we take off 20 minutes, 20 minutes is going to be 820. And then we need to take off four more minutes, which would be 816. Over here, it's 411. So four. And then one minute past 411. This one should be a little shorter. These aren't drawing as nice. Um, what time was one hour and 14 minutes ago? So 311 would be an hour. And then 14 minutes ago, if I take off 11 minutes, it would be three o'clock. And then three more minutes would be 2.57. Coming down here, let's see if I can get them to draw a little nicer. 2.23, so about the halfway point. 21.23, there we go, 2.23. What time was it three hours and 32 minutes ago? Be careful. When we take off that three hours, we are going back into the other set of 12, right? So 2.23. Woo, brain and hand unite. If I take off two hours, I get 1223. If I take off one more hour, I get 1123. Now I need 32 minutes. So 23 minutes gets me to 11 o'clock. Take off that 23. 32, take away 23 means I need nine more minutes to go back. So if I take off nine more minutes, I'm at 10.51. Over here, it's 5.34. So 34 is gonna be right there. And then five, we're past the halfway point. There we go. Two hours and 11 minutes ago. So 5.34 minus two hours is 3.34. And then we need to take off 11 minutes. So minus 11. 34 minus 11 is 23, so 323. It's 655, which means that hour hand is going to be really close to 7, but not quite there. 655. What time was 1 hour and 48 minutes ago? 1 hour is 555, taking off 48 minutes. So 55 minus 48 leaves me with 7. So it would be 507, 507. 
over here, 942. So 42 is going to be there. 942 is going to be pretty close. What time was 45 minutes ago? So 942 minus 42 minutes takes us to 9, but we need three more minutes. So if we take three minutes off of 9, we get 8. 57. Questions on these? Bring them with you to class. All right, loves, last page we're looking at word problems. Let's take a peek. Whoop. Sorry about that. We're just going to reopen that and reshare it. And we're on the last page. Sorry. One moment, please. There we go. All right, back in business. I hit the wrong button. Okay. There we go. All right. So the high school has two, but oh my goodness, did I seriously do it again? I'm not even clicking the button. Right. One second, because I'm almost done and I really don't want to have to start this over again. Sorry, sweet faces. I don't know what I'm clicking, but there's no button there. All right. We're just going to be careful. The high school has two bus pickups to take students home in the afternoon. The first set left at 2.42 and the second set leaves 16 minutes later. What time does the second set of school buses leave? So we have 2.42. We need to add 16. That gives us 2.58 p.m. is when the second set leaves. Chelsea needs to pick up her son from baseball practice at 20 till four. However, she got stuck in traffic and didn't arrive until 20 after four. How late was she? 20 minutes before four is 340. 20 minutes after four is 420. How late was she? Well, it's 20 minutes until four, 20 minutes till 420. So 40 minutes late. Science class lasts for 70 minutes. If it ends at 12.20 p.m., when did it start? So we have 12.20 and we're working backwards 70 minutes, which is an hour and 10 minutes. So one hour would give me 11.20. 10 more minutes would give me 11.10. It starts at 11.10. Tara wants to see a movie that begins at 7.35 p.m. If the movie is 130 minutes long, when will she need to tell her mom to pick her up? Well, first, 130 minutes. That is two hours and 10 minutes because there's 60 minutes in an hour. 60 goes into 130, two times with 10 left over. So if it starts at 735, we jump forward two hours, which is 935. 10 more minutes is 945. Emily wakes up at 6.52 a.m. and realizes she slept through her alarm. If her alarm was set for 4.25 a.m. so she could work out before work, how long did she oversleep? So 6.52 take away 4.25. 5 is a 4 is a 12, which would give us 7 and 2 and 2. She overslept 2 hours and 27 minutes. Last one. It takes Steve one hour and 15 minutes to get home from work. If he needs to be home by 3.32 to get his son off the bus, what time does he need to leave work? So if he starts at 3.32 and we work backwards one hour and 15 minutes, 2.32, 15 minutes would be 2.17. All right, loves. Sorry about the technical difficulties on this last page. If you have questions, Bring them with you to class.